Friend facing camera, please save me. I wanted to make a video of me talking about my 2023 purchases. All spontaneous, to be honest. Spontaneous to me. My definition of spontaneous is if I thought about it for two to three months and I still want it, I'll buy it. But that's because I don't have any other fixations until I buy something. I made a list of everything I bought in 2023. And I won't show I won't show the actual thing because I don't want to gather everything and then have to put it back. So it's just easier if I find a picture of it on the internet. And then you can rate my purchases too. I'm also filming on the selfie stick my friend bought for me for my birthday. Literally so just life changing. Like why did I even bother buying tripods after tripods and it's like, I just need something simple. And I love it. Hello? My cat doesn't talk to me. Anyway, here is my Midori MD paper notebook. MD notebook journal. A5. Dot grid. The best size, perfect for everything that I do on it, which is like three things make a calendar, and write a list. So, I wrote everything down. So, February and March, I did not buy anything big um, for the year, mainly because that's the time I renew, mainly because that's the time I, um, get new contacts and they ain't cheap it's pretty affordable but I I it's like a big expenditure for me as I say as I tell you the rest of my big expenditures for the rest of the year <laughs> I didn't even buy new glasses because my prescription hasn't changed but the only thing I probably will do next year is um get a different type of glass because these are really heavy and they've made an indent on my nose and they don't go away, so I think it's something else. But it's definitely like there's an indent on my nose. Like a permanent indent. Um, so, February, nothing. I mean, January, nothing. February, nothing. In March, in preparation for my friend's wedding, I bought a new dress. New to me. I bought it off of Depop, which, so... Used but good. I bought a silk mini wrap reformation dress. So beautiful. And I've been on the hunt to match with these to match with this dress. I bought slingbacks. And not just any slingbacks. I bought Manolos. Insert Nicki Minaj song every time I, I mention my Manolos to my friend. But there are brown slingbacks. I also bought it off resale it was from Poshmark so the dress was 96 and then the Manolos for 54 pretty good for resale genuine so 100% silk it's unlined unfortunately on the Reformation dress and the Manolos are pretty good condition they're kitten heels I wish they were taller because I'm not a kitten heel person they make me walk funny it's like I'm walking on tiptoes and it's like if you're gonna go for heels go three inches plus so January February March April I didn't buy anything I don't really remember what happened in April but in May I went to New York for like a vacation um there's one day in the city I hung out <laughs> with my cousin <laughs> and we went to Soho and in my mind, I was like, I don't really want to buy anything because I can't really afford everything there. And like, I was pretty happy with my 
whatever was in my closet because I have like a capsule wardrobe which is pretty much I wear like the same 20 things because Florida is pretty consistent on weather um so I didn't really need anything but we were looking on the map so who's pretty small yet big if you know you know um I saw on the map Loewe was like around the corner and I was like you know what? Let's walk in there. I just want to look. I just want to look. I just want to look. I just want to... It didn't happen. I didn't just look. I fucking bought a Loewe puzzle bag. And this was... I don't... I swear, if this guy told me if I was like his quickest sale ever, that's fantastic because I don't like mess around when I buy. If I know what I want, size, color texture, price, I'll do it. So I bought it. It wasn't spontaneous. I really wanted it. It was 3,371. It was the bag plus tax. And the thing is, it was, it's beautiful. Like I, I wear it every day. Oh, I, I wear it every day. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a what's in my bag video because I love that shit. Like I love like OG YouTube videos. And that's where it went downhill because I was like, I spent so much money. I took it out of my savings. I say savings, but it's like, it's just some money I just put in and I don't really plan with it. <laughs> it just sits there. But because I love to like online browse, and I saw these shoes on Asia Jackson. I fell in love with them the second I saw them. And I thought about it ever since last year. Well, actually, when I found it online, the only place I had it was net a -Porte, And they were sold out of my size. And then the winter sale ended. And I was like, okay, whatever. But then they came back in my size. And um, I guess they were having a summer sale. Not a poor day. Well, summer sale happened and they were in my size for a really good price. I think it was like sale on top of sale. There was like a discount code. I don't remember what it was. And I'm pretty sure I deleted the email receipt, so whatever. But I bought it for $630, which is a steal. For these, like, Napa leather shoes. Heels. And the only incentive why I bought it was to wear it to my co-worker's wedding. <laughs> and this really goes to show that you really should not just buy something for, like, a one event, one event thing. Unless you know you're going to get your use per wear out of it. Which I haven't. I've only worn it once this year. Oh. <laughs> So, that was in July, and also in July, I bought more gel nail polish, and this is from nailformula.ca, Canada, where I could buy like Japanese, Chinese, Korean nail polish for really cheap. Even with shipping, it's so much cheaper than finding it on like Zillabo or like other Asian branded gel nail polish in the US and I know I have clips of me unboxing everything or taking a picture I just haven't edited them because I haven't done YouTube in a very long time and I'm like is this my comeback era because I realized I love talking about stuff that I own and stuff that I have and it's like if I could do a room tour, I would, but my room is not photogenic, but if you can like click around my room, like with a mouse, like I'll tell you every little detail about it. I will tell a story about a cup I bought and I haven't used and I only bought it because it was pretty. <laughs> um, 
So anyway, that nail order was six, excuse me, it was seven, $117. So May, big purchase. June, I didn't purchase anything. It was my birthday, but um, I just went out for dinner. Experiences. July, Jimmy Choo's in gel polish. And then August. August. I'm like, I'm rebranding. I need a new fresh wardrobe. There's some pieces missing in my closet. Sometimes when I go out, I don't want to wear sandals or my vans. So I bought the most popular thing that was online. I bought a Nitsuka Tiger shoes. And, um, I only bought it because the ten and a half in mantle green was sold out, but the ten was still available. And I'm like, I know better than to buy shoes that don't fit me perfectly and for shoes I haven't tried on. But I still bought it. That was $128. That was $128 in August. They fit fine. It is a bit weird though because it feels like one arch is higher than the other. There is arch support in the shoe. And um, it's really hard to like wear these shoes too. It, it, it's like the only pants that you can wear with these shoes is if they have like a 32 inch inseam. Because they literally look like bowling shoes. They are bowling shoes. I'm going to call it. They are, they are bowling shoes. Like the Adidas Sambas, like bowling shoes. I like them. I like them. They still look pretty fresh. Are they trendy? Yes. Will they go out of style? Yeah. But again, you have to wear really long pants to make them look good and not look dorky. So people probably won't even know that I'm wearing a Nitsuka Tigers. <laughs> but I like it. And then the other big purchase that I made in July was... <laughs> I was watching Maggie's... Maggie Chu's YouTube. And she buys a, Louis Vuitton, a lot of Louis Vuitton. And I'm not a Louis Vuitton person, like, at all. I don't like the monogram pattern, like, at all. It's not for me. It's like how I feel about Goyard. It's just, like, coated canvas and then, like, a little piece of leather. And suddenly it's, like, $2,000 for canvas. Um, anyway, she bought this bag. It was called, it was from DCT Vintage. They're Japanese. I go online. I'm browsing. Then all of a sudden, I remember this Murakami, it was a Marc Jacobs, but it was Murakami collaboration with Louis Vuitton. And I remembered this cherry collab, or his cherry characters. And then a sale hits. It was, I bought it in August, so I don't know what kind of sale they were having. I guess they were just like one of those like random sales they have. Apparently they do a lot of sales. Um... Anyway, I bought a Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire with a cherry on it. Um, absolutely adorable. I wore it out twice. The first time I wore it out was going to the movies with my friend. We went to go see Paprika. No, we went to go see... What did we go see? I can't even remember his name. <laughs> we went to go see Perfect Blue. We went to go see Perfect Blue. It's a totally cute... goes with everything. The tray makes it pop. Um, I bought it for $984. Just go throw it in there. Um, and then I wore it to my coworker's wedding where we absolutely got drenched. And I was like, thank God this thing is coated canvas. But then I was like, oh shit, the straps and the leather and the, the little details are leather. So I had to like hide it with my body. Um, still pretty cute. I got drunk and I almost forgot my bag there. <laughs> and then we were packing up in the morning and I almost forgot it. <gasps> Who fucking does that? It's a, it's not, I don't think it's vintage. Vintage is like 
And then in September, I finally bought the dress I was going to wear to my coworker's wedding and I bought I bought a reformation dress from um Poshmark. And I knew they got it for dirt cheap because I knew there was a sample sale going on in New York and I'm like looking at everybody's like I knew it was cheap because when I went to go um do an offer she accepted it immediately and I was like I should have fucking doubled like I should have like lowballed this person <laughs> um but no 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 what I, I knew it came from the sample sale was because a lot of people were listing like the same dress in pretty much all the same size and I'm looking at the location of this person and they lived in New Jersey so I know this person traveled from New Jersey to New York to go to the sample sale because Reformation is still a huge brand um only like two things are worthwhile there they're linen pieces and they're silk pieces that's pretty much it I bought it from a reseller and not directly from the company which everyone should do just go on Poshmark and lowball everybody and so the second purchase of September was these Madewell Harlow pants. They were like the perfect pants I was looking for because I can't fit into my skinny jeans anymore for like one big reason. Um, so I need to like fit in at the waist and hip, but like flared out. They were freaking expensive. I should have tried them on in the store. It took me like a month to like buy like the pants and then I was like, I'm gonna buy the same pants but in green. But it kinda makes me look like I'm wearing like military cargo pants. And I should have returned them the instant I got them. Because I only needed the black pants. I only needed the black pants. And then it was October. October. My coworker's wedding. We go to the keys. We go the day of the wedding, we have brunch, and then it's the wedding, and then we eat big there. But then Sunday was a free day. Sunday we went... I can't remember the... It's, I can't remember, like, the main street that it's called. But we went to, like, this really, like, cute, like, French cafe, French breakfast place, and then we explored the place. We explored... And I went to this one shop because they had, like, those, like, Mediterranean, Greek, Turkish lamps. And I wanted to go inside. And this was the only place I bought something from. I, I was trying to, like, haggle the guy. <laughs> oh, he's like, it's $100. We're actually getting another shipment in a couple weeks. And the price is going to raise to, like, 175 So you should... You should buy it now. And I was like, no, I'll, I'll buy it for this amount. I was trying to buy it for $50. He wasn't having it. He wasn't having me either. <laughs> so eventually I caved. By caved, I mean I was like walking around. My coworkers are buying something from him. He should be grateful I brought the business to him. Because I wanted to go into the store. Um, anyway. I bought it for $75. I do love it. It's like 100% cotton made in Turkey. It honestly looks like it honestly looks like a kefia, but it was, it's just black and white with some patterns. I can't really tell you much about it. Um, it's huge, has pockets, it's fringe. And then I bought like another dress for no reason honestly I bought it off the real real they had like a $30 coupon which didn't really amount to anything because half it was half of it was shipping a certain percentage of it was was tax um so it pretty much didn't feel like it was on sale but I bought this Hummet Lang dress for $50 and then I tried to like backtrack to see how much it originally was because the people who work at the real real 
I don't know what they do there. Like, are you actually like researching anything when you accept s- products from people? Um, anyway, I did find it on the Outnet for like a hundred plus dollars, even though Outnet, the Outnet is like known for like discounted designer stuff, but it was cheaper on the real real. I bought it for $50. Very form fitting. It kind of makes me look like I'm a vampire because of like the collar doesn't sit all the way up. It flares up. Very hex girls, to be honest. Um, and like my one other big purchase in October was sending my friend flowers because she had surgery done and I wanted to get her something nice. And flowers are like a great gift. And then we go into November. And as you know, November is like the big year for like corporations to make money. But I'm not buying anything from corporations. I am buying from non-corporate. I don't know. Uh, so I took this time. to Usually around this time of year, I supply myself with a year's worth of skincare. And that's usually like my main thing. But because I've been doing my nails at home, and I love doing my nails, usually every weekend, I've been trying to make these last two weeks, but these are like the same um, Gel X full coverage tips I've had been wearing for like two weeks now. So this is like on week three. Next weekend, when it's New Year's weekend, I'm definitely like starting fresh on these. You can't even see it. I stocked up on from Stylevana. I like it. I don't really know about like comparing other prices to other places. I used to shop from Yes Style, but I just want to look at skincare. So Stylevana, great, love it. And then I bought from Mask Sheets because I'm gonna do a haul video, but I had to buy from Mask Sheets just like supplement something I needed from Stylevana because the prices I mean the prices were higher on mask sheets but there was something Stylevana didn't have which makes me wonder like where is all this stuff coming from anyway I spent like a hundred dollars on skincare which will last me a year because I think I only buy skincare once once a year because that's how much I need just need toner Moisturizer. Sometimes I buy fun things that I don't really remember, but usually it's just skincare and toner. And like the big purchase for November, Black Friday, was I wanted to upgrade my nail game. So I bought like a full like LED UV lamp. And like a dust collector because I use an e-file and the dust gets everywhere. The e-file or the 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 dust collector was so life changing. Like, how did I do a whole year of nails without it? Oh, so good. <laughs> um, and then I bought more nail gels from Nail Formula. So I bought it from Nails Cat Cat. Rating for that store is like five to ten. Um, five out of ten. Something about it. The website's not the best. There was like a huge. It wasn't. A, it was a huge typo on like the packaging for the 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 nails I bought, the nail polish I bought. Um, and the web. I think I said it, but the website fucking sucks. <laughs> Shift from Miami. Uh, and then I bought the lamp from Zillabo. And then again, nail polish from. Nails, nail formula. And honestly, the total for that was like $300. But I'm hoping I don't buy anything for the rest of the year. And if I do, I'm going to wait until Black Friday because that was like the hugest sale. And I was surprised Nail Formula had sales too. Because they just look like a small store in Canada. Um, and then spur of the moment, I bought... A sterling silver ring from this online shop called Super Orange, which 
I keep thinking it's like a bleach song. I bought that for like $91. That one was definitely spur of the moment. Um, but I freaking love this ring so much. It is so beautiful. It's, it takes after my favorite emoji, the sparkle emoji, which I was obsessed with when I first got an iPhone and started using emojis. And the other spur of the moment purchase was a Nanami print because my man died on Thanksgiving and me and the whole internet was distraught. And I forgot I had this artist shop bookmarked because I, I was, I'm committing to something. I'm committing to a no by year 2024. So I was going through my um, bookmarks and like deleting like the shop stuff that I have bookmarked. <laughs> Um, and this artist is called Arcane Gold. Their art of Nanami is like the most handsomest one. It still hasn't arrived even though I bought it like Black Friday weekend. And it did say like three to four weeks processing. But come on, don't you know that the girlies are like suffering and just like need like their Nanami fix? <laughs> oh my god. Friends in real life, if you if you if you got this far, um, I'm so sorry, but my weeb face has is still going strong. As I say, as I have not watched any of season two of Nanami, of Jujutsu Kaisen, I mean, and I didn't even finish um, Gundam, The Witch from Mercury, the only anime that I watched to finish was Demon Slayer because that one's wholesome and I love it and oh but I would never buy any like Demon Slayer merch. Everybody's bought me Rengoku though because what's the point of moving on when Rengoku's not around? Um, <laughs> um so I'm waiting on this Nanami print. That was thirty dollars. And then the last big purchase of the year. It was her birthday. We had breakfast and then we went to the mall. And this is the mall that has everything. Even though I don't go to it because it's just too far away. But I went to go get a second piercing. And I I upgraded. Instead of like getting like a regular like ball or whatever spear, I went I got stars. They do hurt. They're very sharp. Um it's still healing. It's been a month. But um I love it. It's like an upgrade to to me like anyway let's review what i bought thanks so anyway march the reformation dress in the manolos reformation dress mm, eight out of ten it's too short for me i'm pretty sure I flashed a lot of people at my friends's wedding but i was wearing tights but i was also wearing thongs i'm pretty sure i flashed somebody but it's great loved it still seven eight out of ten the manolos totally loved um 10 out of mm, no they're kitten heels so like not eight or nine out of ten yeah nine eight to nine out of ten i was gonna say something else about them um my low of a puzzle bag 10 out of 10 like 20 out of 10 like it finally itched my low of a addiction of like 10 years like ever since the puzzle bag first came out and honestly, I should have bought that bag when it was still like a thousand dollars and not three thousand dollars. But what do I know about fashion predictions? Um, because it was trendy at the time. They're still popular now. Loewe, I mean. Um, I definitely want the hammock for sure now. But just the one from Saks that I found. Great. My Jimmy Choo's. Um... I've only worn them once, but definitely 10 out of 10. I've been wanting those shoes for like a year. They're beautiful. They're soft, luxurious. I'm so sorry I walked in sand in them and that it got wet in the rain. Like, I'm so sorry. I need to clean those shoes, like, somehow. There's still sand in them for sure, I know. Um, nail polish. Always 10 out of 10. Um, my Anitsuka Tigers definitely like six to seven if i don't like them i'll definitely resell them resell them because i've seen it on stock x the colorways i got is in mantle green if i don't like them i'll definitely res definitely resell them 
I don't know what I would replace them with because again I need like a basic sneaker but like not too basic like I would never wear some white sneakers to be honest it's too preppy for me um when the time comes it'll come um but my Louis Vuitton cherry Murakami collection bag Definitely like a forever piece, so that's 10 out of 10. I will definitely buy like an extender chain like Maggie Chu did. Um, just so I can like wear it over my shoulder and not like as a, like a wrist. Like a, like a wrist purse. <laughs> uh, the other Reformation dress, the blue one, that one is like definitely... 8 to 9 out of 10. I really hate the puff sleeves, but like it's it's a beautiful fit. The linen is so heavy. I love it. Um, the Madewell Harlow pants. The black one's definitely 10 out of 10. It could be thicker. I think it's made out of tinsel, which is bamboo. For pants that are $200, it definitely could have been thicker. It does give me butch vibes, so if I ever want to live out my butch alter ego life I have those pants the green ones I haven't worn and I definitely will resell them the Turkish robe I bought from that place in Key West definitely love it definitely 10 out of 10 it's like the perfect like bathrobe um the helmet laying again I haven't worn it out I love it though it was in perfect condition even though the flaw was like pit stains and it's like all you need to do is throw it in the wash my November buys definitely all no 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 so like nails the nails cat cat brand six to ten i like no i really love the dust collector i bought from her but the, like the rubber gel i bought it's like no no not for me um the nail formula one that is definitely like 10 out of 10 the syllabo like um, lamp. It's okay. It could have more LEDs in it, but it gets the job done. So that's like eight out of 10. Um, my mask sheets by my mask sheet ones is definitely like out of the three things I bought, only one of them I know is great. So let's just go from there. And the style Vano one, um, Again, I haven't used anything because it's just a restock and I wanted to take advantage of Black Friday. Um, my super orange um, sterling silver ring, definitely 10 out of 10. Love her. She's beautiful. Piercings, love it. The Arcane Gold artist print, the Nanami print, waiting on that. Um, yeah, and that's my video. I didn't buy anything in December because of how crazy I went in November plus the last year. So that's that. If you would like to rate the things I bought, tell me. If you love or hate anything that I bought, also tell me. I want the juice. Like, I want to know what you hate about what I bought and like anything else just tell me just tell me what if I film a video and it's raining would you even be able to hear me or would you be distracted by Tabitha <laughs> it is like 70 degrees and it's raining. I should. Oh, wait. Who is that girl I see? <laughs> Staring straight back at me. Mm, Toba doll baby. Oh, so cute. Can you hear her? Oh, my baby. So cute. <laughs> Powdered sugar nose, my friend once described, twice described, Tobata. <laughs> oh, so angry. Just kidding. Happy. Happy. Ooh, you're so pretty.
Are you falling asleep to the sound of my voice? She usually does when I talk to my friend on the phone. She doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my bed every Sunday. Um, I cannot sit up straight in this video, which really sucks for me. And for you watching me, like, just...